Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, please give it a massive thumbs up and maybe think about subscribing. It helps the channel grow. Uh, today's video is all about how to fit an EPDM rubber roof system. I will walk you through the process of how to do it. So sit back and enjoy the video as I talk you through it. So the first thing to do here guys is to get the rubber out of the packaging and lay it out onto the roof and leave it for a few hours. I left mine overnight, it just gives it more time to stretch and do its thing and then you're ready to lay it the next morning. So what you see me doing here guys is fitting a batten to the fascias for the gutter drip ready to go on. job is to draw a line all the way around the edges of the sterling board. This is for the contact adhesive that goes on to stick the rubber roof down on the edges. So once you've got the tile batten fixed to the fascia board, it's time to fit the gutter drip trim. And that's all nailed down with ring shank nails, stainless steel ones. Be sure to leave an expansion gap when you're putting these trims on. I think it's about a millimetre to every metre off the top of my head. And then you've got a little cover trim to cover the gaps with, which you just stick on with some adhesive. Now it's time to start preparing the rubber for laying it down. Um, so give it a good old sweep off, get any dust particles off. And then, as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm rolling it back to the centre because you're going to be doing one half at a time here so make sure it's in the centre and nicely rolled ready to lay get any bits of rubbish off, any bits of sticky stuff that's on the sterling board and then give it a good sweep, make sure there's nothing under there, no bits sticking up it's critical this guys, otherwise it will just stick through the, the rubber and you will see it This is the adhesive to stick the rubber down in the big tub and then you've got the bonding adhesive for the edges. That's the stuff there, the main stuff. Comes with its own rollers and that. Right, so we're putting it on now. Make sure you get it on nice and even. Not too thick, not too thin. You don't want any lumps in it. Just take your time there, just do a section at a time. I find it easier that way. I'm not going right to the edge with this, you'll see why soon, it will become apparent in a minute. down you're ready to roll it just take your time with this bit and make sure it goes down nice and evenly you don't want any creases or kinks in it just get it nice and flat and let it do its own thing as you're rolling it then it's time just to broom out any bubbles any air bubbles that get trapped under it use a soft broom this broom was just a little bit too stiff but it's still done the job for me but 
it is actually better with a soft broom if you can get one. I sometimes get a roller on it afterwards just to make sure it's getting a nice grip to it. Push down on it nice and hard. Get any of them bubbles out. It's a perfect day today, the temperature is just right for it. So once you've done that first bit, roll it back again to where it's sticky and then you're ready to go again. Just do another section. Once again, keep it nice and even as you're putting it on. There's no rush on this, just take your time in it and as I said before don't go right to the edges. Same thing again, once the adhesive's down, just roll that rubber out onto it nice and evenly. If you do see any little bubbles, just push them out with your hands. There you go. Time for the broom again. Push the bubbles out. Just doing the last little bit of that first half of the roof. Same procedure again, just get the adhesive on. Don't bring it right to the edges, leave that six inches from the edge again. And you're ready to roll it out. second half of the roof same procedure just bring that roll back right to the center and then you should feel a bit of resistance when it comes to where you first stuck it where the adhesive stuck to the rubber right there again give it a good sweep down make sure there's no grit or anything on the roof you do not want anything getting under that because it will just show through so get it as smooth as you can
right just getting the last few bubbles out with the roller and that's the whole of the rubber roof stuck down now it's time to do the perimeters which is why you have the six inch gap as you will see so here we go this is the um, contact adhesive the strongest stuff for the for the edges so get that on nice and evenly with a smaller roller again so what you're doing here guys is you're coating the wood like the sterling board and also the rubber itself if you're out in high temperatures with this stuff you've got to be quite quick with it because it will go off quite quickly there it goes nice and even the sun has come out now so it's it is going off quick on me So the way to test if this is ready is to touch it and if it doesn't come off on your fingers it's pretty much it wants to be slightly tacky but not wet that it sticks to your fingers and then you're ready to put it down so again get it nice and even and just push it down that's the technique and you just give it a good old rub with your hands make sure there's no bubbles in it again you don't get any chance of this once that's stuck that's stuck and that's not coming up and you can just run the roller over it and make sure it's nice and firmly down. So this is the second uh, drip trim that goes on and that's nailed on with the grey poly top nails to match the trim. Be careful when banging this on not to bruise it too much and don't forget to take the sticky stuff off before you bang the nails right home because if you, if you bang the nails right home first bits of plastic get stuck underneath the nails. And there it is, all finished on that side. All that needs doing now is to trim the, the rubber from underneath the trim. Right, and this is the curb trim we're gonna be fitting now. This goes around the front and the two sides with the gutter being at the back of this. There it is, it's got a little foam underneath it, which when you nail it on, you can press it down just a little bit, not too much, just enough, and that's to stop any water getting out and there it is being nailed on again with the poly top nails again be careful not to bruise the plastic when you're banging them in as you can see my left hand is just pushing the trim down as I'm banging it I've got a level there as well just to keep a nice straight edge if I need to corners you can just put a fold in it there and then I normally just tack a couple of staples onto it just to hold it in place ready for the next curb edge plastic to go on and there it is again it's got little corners uh, corner covers there just to neaten it up and obviously you've got the joining joining ones which I haven't got at the moment so I'll be sticking them on with the glue once I get them and there it is all finished guys so if you like the channel give it a massive thumbs up subscribe and i will see you on the next one see you later guys